this is my grandmother's house, about 14 houses up. There's a school called Frederick Douglass High School. That's the high school I graduated from, my sisters did, and my mom. You know, she's too young to have a child, so my grandmother raised me. It's simple. You know, the story usually goes crazy from there, but mine doesn't. For me, growing up in this community, first of all, let me know I didn't have a lot of money because we were just some working class kids who lived on the street that buffered richer people. What I also discovered is that richer people had better schools. I went to a school down the street called Collier Heights Elementary and I went to Frederick Douglass when it was a school of excellence, one of the more stellar schools in Atlanta's public school system. And I say that with a lot of pride because I probably learned my most important life lesson from that high school. And it's a very simple quote that's in the, um, that Frederick Douglass said, without struggle there is no progress. This plaza was where the library was when I read. And later on I hustled and wilded it out. But this spot we're about to go to is a spot called Grand Flow. So I really became an older teenager, a younger man. This was like the liveest spot. This is where it happened. We are in Grand Flow right now. We are in Adamville. We are where I thought I could become Scarface, but I couldn't because I was stupid. <laughs> but I did manage to make it out. <laughs> this is well, this is where I was, man. This is what I made it from, and I'm thankful for that. I did a song called Crown on my new album, Run the Jewels, where part of it was inspired by a lady who lived right on that corner lot right there. I'm just glad I made it out. I'm glad that I didn't give up on it. This is where I wanted to be. When I came in here and I saw Kilo's signature on this wall, I knew it was possible for me. You know, when I came in here and saw Ghetto Mafia's signature on this wall, when I came in here and seen Outkast, Organized Noise Production, it was because of this store. They taught me not only how to appreciate music. They were there for me as a fan, but more than that, they taught me how to do good business with the community. We are in the swag shop, man. Um, just voted number one place to get a haircut in Atlanta. Owned and co-owned by my wife and I. And I love it. We're just about the business of providing the community with something better than just your typical barbershop experience. When kids get their haircut here, they get a free Hot Wheel with every haircut, no matter how many haircuts they get. Cause I just want to inspire kids to dream big, to dream more, to have more, to want more. Support local business, support local business, and if you're black, support local and black business. Do good, it'll come back to you. Just started working in-house in the legal department at Def Jam, and he's looking for somebody to help him out. So I suggested your name, that's how I got in. This is my grandparents, it's their house, uh, so we always spent time growing up here and actually lived here a lot of our childhood as well, so just, like, I even learned to drive on this block. So it's like just so many, like, memorable things have happened here. 